when you have a maternal death, it is really crucifying a whole family, a whole community, and a whole nation. And therefore, government has made it a national emergency to tackle maternal health and neonatal health. MDG 4, reducing child mortality, and uh, MDG 5, improving maternal health, are really two key challenges uh, to us in the health sector. We need evidence-based actions in order to be able to achieve them. The need and desire to access health information is universal. Imagine a pregnant woman experiencing pains or a parent with a child who has a high fever. In developed countries, information is often readily available through the internet and expert advice as a phone call or a short car ride away. For poor individuals in less developed countries, the situation is quite different, such as here in the Upper East region of Ghana. In rural areas such as this, health facilities are the only source of reliable expert advice. Local myths are prevalent, some of which can be damaging to mothers and children during pregnancy. When the woman is in labor, they give them some herbs to drink so that the uterus will contract fast and push the baby out. And sometimes it uh, leads to infection and the woman may even rupture. When you are pregnant, especially within the first three months, some witches may take your baby away. It's like an evil eye is looking into you, so they can take the baby out of you. The myth here is that when you just start labor and you come to the health facility early, it means that you are a coward and you fear pain, and so they don't come early. By the time they get to the health facility, it might be too late. Transport is scarce and unaffordable in these areas. Road networks are poor, so health facilities may be a long walk from home through the bacon heat. Basic services may be scarce here, but the simple mobile phone is increasing in abundance. Mobile phone ownership is growing rapidly in even the most remote communities. The Mobile Technology for Community Health project, known as MoTeC, is aiming to create a world in which these mobile phones enable poor individuals to access health information that is reliable, affordable and relevant to their lives. By designing technology solutions together with users and communities, MoTeC has been able to ensure that its services are accessible, easy to use and tailored to clients' specific needs. MoTech has created a service called Mobile Midwife. The service sends people information on their mobile phones. When a client registers with MoTech, he or she gives us the date of birth of their child or the date of expected delivery of the pregnancy. With this information at hand, MoTech could regularly give them information that is specific to the age of the child or the age of the pregnancy. In our community, not everybody owns a mobile phone. However, these people can also register into Mobile Midwife. When they register, they are given a unique ID number from MoTeC. With this ID number, they can call a toll-free number, enter this ID number, and they can access their messages in a local language they prefer. They can use phones that belong to their friends, a neighbor, or any other person in the community to access their messages from mobile midwife. Electricity is a challenge in our community, so clients can choose to receive their messages in audio recordings, in local languages, or as SMS. <laughs> Well, <laughs> My <laughs> Banana, 
ya alora na de na yere yi mo mama ko papa bo chongo di ayer ko na kaira na to konto bu chodir ko de yen ko papa ni yesu ra bele la na ni tana ya ya parce ko ye chigato ko papa de na ji yesu ra de bu ni ji yesu ra na ba we la be ya sil tsangane ba songara temi pa ba pa ala to di sabatire na ratir dita ba ko ho na na ratir dita ko da tande we in dare o tande ze et ba kol ho ti zine ho tarato wa clinic na ko tina ho saka nyura ba tante ho ho yeto na ratu nyura tina dola da na ratir nyura dola sena so mo tek do ma ba songo rete pa wala nga la ba na pesa wa me ne tu ba yam ba kanu wa ata poto di do do lera da chin chara da nona ta da ra ta poto zin zulu dina wada ba ta ba brene ne man ma ma ne ku so bo na do ta ba yamba ta ba brene ye yo wona bo obo 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 kwe mama ta na yo ne dia bo to to yi ne 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 ba ne bo wi ana zo we na dane ay na agent gani a asal mu si ko to da opo ko ta bo na ye dane kuma dar ba ma won ne na ta di wudum yi ama si na ma ne ni wudum tu wala ko dare ko la santu mo yinne ni ba wa na lu bun fes yelum apo ngo buntu si buntu yam bu yi la ba bun na wol bu yo yira ta danam ama fo ka be de yam baka ba yam lele de na te so yen pa ba ta ngo de fes yila ba mo buntu mo dana Moltec has developed a second mobile service for nurses a java application running on a basic 40 dollar phone enables nurses to quickly enter detailed patient information this is sent to the Motec database using GPRS, an internet connection available on a mobile phone network. With this patient information stored in a database, Motec then detects when patients are due for healthcare, such as vaccinations or an antenatal appointment. One week before an antenatal appointment, Motec sends a message to the patient to remind them to go to the health facility. If a patient misses the appointment, they receive an alert to urge them to go to the health facility soon. Meanwhile, similar information is provided to the nurses. Every Monday morning, they receive text messages listing patients who are overdue for certain care. By reminding both nurse and patient about the appointment, Motec aims to increase the quality of health care provided. It's phenomenal. Um, I have been to the field uh, several occasions where I've, I've heard the pregnant women uh, saying that they have been reminded of when to come for antenatal visits or what they are due for a certain procedure. I mean, it's, it's quite uh, interesting. These are things that we, uh, until this project, we were we, we not get, getting. In addition to providing patient information to nurses, Motec also saves nurses time by automatically generating their monthly reports. Previously, use about five days before we can complete our reports. But because Motec generates our reports for at the end of the month, we are able to save time and use that time in treating other patients. By gathering accurate client data and quickly aggregating it in meaningful ways, Motec enables more informed decision making, not only by community level nurses, but also for managers throughout the health system. This is the age where we transmit data which is efficiently collected and accurate for managers to make informed decisions at district, regional and national level. That is what Moltec is about. Moltec is currently being piloted in one district in the Upper East region of Ghana. A rigorous social impact assessment will measure the effect of the program on health outcomes. We believe that as Moltec continues to empower women, healthcare workers and communities with critical health information, over time it will demonstrate its great potential for improving the health of mothers and babies, not only in Ghana, but all around the world. <laughs>